Now, I am going to report my part that is testing comprehension. Testing comprehension refers to the measurement of a person's ability to understand and process information quickly and accurately, where it measures how persons can quickly um, respond information quickly and accurately. This assessment may involve testing the individual's reading, listening, and speaking skills, as well as their ability to interpret and respond to various types of information. Which is this assessment is involved the three macro skills that is the reading, listening, and speaking skills, where it really needs a comprehension <coughs> to interpret and respond to a various type of community of information rather this can be done through various methods as reading comprehension exercise that is when you um, read some context and you will comprehend it to understand listening comprehension that's where you can listen less than some um, quotes some um, proverbs that we have to comprehend to understand it quickly what is the um, real meaning or point that will give to us and or verbal questioning where is for example in my own understanding about verbal questioning is um, just like for example a miss universe question and answer where is all about uh, verbal questioning and overall testing comprehension is an important tool for assessing an individual's ability to comprehend and process information which is crucial for academic success and effective communication so we're going to um, the evaluation scale for fluency allows for object objective measurement of fluency in a specific language or skill set providing a valid tool, tool for educators, employers, and individuals to assess and improve their fluency levels. So for us, for us individuals, educators, for us to improve our fluency levels, we have to measure our fluency evaluation which <coughs> which uses a measurement of specific language or scale set so often connected when assessing language skills when testing comprehension it is important to consider how well an individual can understand and process the spoken language as well as how they can express themselves in that language. This, is, this involves their fluency, which is measures of how smoothly and accurately that can and accurately they can speak the language. So, <coughs> excuse me, um, since we are talking about comprehension, we have a three level of comprehension. of comprehension. The first one is literal comprehension, which a reader is able to recall specific details such as names of the characters, their actions, and the main events that took place, where a reader, after reading a story, he or she can recall some specific details. Just like, for example, after reading this story is the three little pigs the reader can recall that there were three pigs named 
Practical, Fiddler, and Piecer that they build houses out of straw, sticks, and bricks. So, um, since the inclination is so very understandable, so let's move on to the second one. Inferential comprehension. Comprehension. Where the reader is able to make inferences about the character's motivation and the outcome of the story based on the clues provided in the text. Just for example, in a mystery novel, the reader might infer that a character is the culprit based on a subtitle in the story. Even if the text does not explicitly state it, the reader might know what is the motivation or the lessons of the story based on the context or the text without without saying the motivation what is it the reader can um can comprehend what is said and the third one is critical comprehension where the reader is able to critically evaluate the author's argument identify potential biases and form their own opinion based on the evidence presented. From the word itself, critically, where a reader can critically um, comprehend, which is, for example, reading an article about the effects of climate change. And the reader may, may critically evaluate the evidence presented from their own opinion on the existing issue based on the additional research and analysis so that's all for my topic thank you i hope you understand my topic about listening comprehension and the three levels of comprehension that is literal comprehension inferential comprehension and critical comprehension thank you